What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi here in Denver, Colorado. And upon request, I'm going to do a cooking video today. So we've got some um, New York strip steaks that we're gonna cook with uh, a crusted porcini mushroom um, seasoning. And then we're gonna also be sauteing those steaks with some blue oyster mushrooms. And then we've got a brand new oyster from North Carolina um, that I'm gonna be sauteing with some sweet peppers. So these ones have a really um, sweet aroma and the porcini, this is a wild mushroom and it's been dried. So has a really nice, sweet, almost like a nutty aroma. Um, the first thing that I'm gonna do is just blend these mushrooms so you can see the dried porcini. Um, I'm just gonna blend these and then use it to coat the outside of the steak for a seasoning. favorite mushrooms and it really will blend well with these sweet peppers. So I've just got some salt and pepper and then my blended porcini mushroom and I'm kind of just gonna rub this in and let this come to room temperature in about a half an hour and I like using the Himalayan salt because it kind of absorbs that, um, the meat juices. All right, so we've got our steaks crusted and seasoned. So I'm just gonna let them sit there at room temperature for about 30 minutes. All right, so while the meat is finishing up resting, we're just gonna preheat the oven. So we'll set this to 375. And then I'll turn on the, um, the pan here and I'll come over and we'll start off with uh, the sweet peppers. So um, any kind of oil will work, preferably a high heat oil like olive oil or um, vegetable oil. So I'm gonna just grab some, some vegetable oil. And then we'll get these peppers going. So next, I'm going to saute the mushrooms. So normally mushrooms will cook down about 50 to 60%. They're very high in water. So it's good to um, keep them spread out on the pan so they don't overcrowd and that way you'll get a really nice crispy edge. Um, and 
for oyster mushrooms, we are shooting for this nice cap region that's gonna have the most flavor. And then basically what I do is I'll chop away this um, butt that has some of the substrate still attached. And with the smaller ones, you can kind of just flake them apart um, and spread them out on the pan. And then for these larger mushrooms, I like to cut the caps into like little small strips. And those will saute up real nice and get crispy. Um, so that's mostly gonna, you know, absorb a lot of flavor into the oil. And the plan is once these are done sauteing and the pan is hot enough, I'm gonna move the meat to give it a nice sear and then we're gonna bake it in the oven to finish it. So these are a clone from a wild mushroom. Um, they're from the Carolinas. So they're usually a warm weather mushroom, but you can see the nice color and the nice striping coming out on those caps. And it's really got a wonderful aroma. So you can hear the peppers starting to heat up. Go ahead and add a few more of these blue oysters. All right, so that should be about good. Um, you don't want to overcrowd them because then they'll cook unevenly and um, the, they won't get that nice crispy edge. So the, the temp on this pan heated up enough and I'm starting to get some browning on here. So maybe about two more minutes and then I'm gonna transfer the veg onto the pan and then give the um, meat a nice roast or a nice sear. And then we're gonna roast it in the oven. So it's really important to cook mushrooms. Um, you don't wanna eat them raw and I can really start smelling that oyster mushroom smell. Um, it's got like a really depth, uh, earthy depth to it. And then with the, with the sweet peppers, it's like a sweet earthy mix. All right, so I transferred all the veggies to the tray and you can see the nice brown edges. Um, they'll crisp up in the oven, but now I'm going to sear the steak. So, going to place these on the pan. It's nice and warm and um, the oven just got done preheating. So basically I'm creating like this nice crispy crust so while it's cooking it won't dry out. Um, Alright so as you can see it's starting to get that nice crispy edge and I'm going to try to turn this fat um, to render it and that's going to really soak up all that wild mushroom flavor. Alright, so these steaks are looking nice and seared. I'm just going to plop them on the tray and throw these in the oven for about 20 minutes. So I plated uh, the veggies and then I let the meat rest for about five minutes. And here you have it, a uh, pan crusted porcini sirloin steak with seared veggies and oyster mushrooms. Cheers. Much love.